Remdesivir was originally developed for Ebola, but it turned out not to be the best option in clinical trials for that illness. However, some of these early trials are not disease specific, but rather look at side effects and dosing information. So this is still useful in developing the product for COVID. Remdesivir is still being studied in clinical trials and is not approved in any country yet because the results of the trials are essential to understanding how well it works and in which populations. But we need to know that Gilead is prepared to make the drug available as soon as it is approved, and that means allowing generic companies to make it to ensure that countries all over the world who need it will have access, and not just the rich ones who can afford to pay potentially high prices. The effectiveness of remdesivir remains to be seen, and that's why everything hinges on the results from clinical trials expected in the coming weeks. We know it's being tested in China and the United States, as well as Europe, for example, and that one of the arms of the WHO's solidarity trial includes remdesivir. So there will be plenty of data coming out just around the corner that will help sort out who should get remdesivir and when. We hope that Gilead will take this opportunity to show their solidarity during the unprecedented pandemic that the whole world is facing. If they decide not to enforce the patents that they have filed in more than 70 countries, they will allow generic companies to produce and supply freely, ensuring enough drug available everywhere and for everyone who needs it. If they would rather enforce their patents and monopolies and profit from this pandemic, at least we know that countries do have another choice. There are legal means for countries to use what is called a compulsory license to allow generic medicines for public health emergencies, which is exactly what COVID is. Some countries like Canada and Germany have already started making changes in their laws to facilitate this kind of license. And we've already seen that Malaysia had set a very good example when they used the compulsory license to make generic formulations of Gilead Sofospivir for treatment of hepatitis C available in Malaysia. So they can do this again if remdesivir is shown to be a good choice for treating COVID-19.